Night three, Marsha Blackburn on the big stage at another Republican convention. The senator speaking to us ahead of that speech. There are fabulous people in this country who are willing to do things. As my mother would say, that's just the way God made you. And it is in your heart to be of service to other people. And there's a lot of people like that in the country and we want to honor that. Fewer than 70 days until the November election, Blackburn also expressing concerns about mail-in voting. She says it's a process that takes more time to pull off. In Tennessee, we have had a very thorough process put in place by our Secretary of State and our local election commissions and individuals that want to early vote and request a ballot by mail are able to request that online or either in writing. Now in Tennessee, there are deadlines for each of these processes. The reason for that, it gives your county election commission and their employees the time that is necessary to verify, to make certain that you've got the right signatures, that things are done properly, uh, that it is noted that you have voted by mail so that you don't show up and also vote on election day. All of that takes time. Now, before I was in the state, I served on the election commission in Williamson County. I know how much hard work goes into making preparation for those elections to be certain that you keep the integrity of the ballot box and the election process. We also talked coronavirus relief and whether another bill is likely to pass the Senate in the near future. What I'm hearing from Tennesseans is pretty simple. They say they want liability protections, they want to get people back to work, they want to get children back to school, and they want to make certain that the states have everything they need in order to send the money on to the counties and cities. And that is the priority list for the people in our state. I hope that we're able to do this fairly quickly and that we're able to move this forward as fast as we possibly can for uh, getting uh, the PPP loans to those that are needing another round of PPP, those companies, companies like our live entertainment industry and I've done a lot of work with those guys that are in uh, the live entertainment sector up in Sevier County, Michael Strickland and Bandit Lights and all those folks. Uh, we're trying to get additional PPP to them to keep their doors open until you can rebound and open these facilities. Blackburn also weighing in on the Democratic ticket on the ballot in November. You know, I um, really had very little as far as dealings with Joe Biden when he was either in the Senate or as vice president. So I really don't have a reference there to speak from. I understand he is an affable guy. He is not necessarily an accomplished guy. And I, I think that's a fair assessment. And of course, when he was selected as a VP, that was a much talked about point of view, that he was affable, but not necessarily accomplished. Now, when it comes to Senator Harris, I do uh, serve on Judiciary Committee with her, and I think people will look at her voting record. Uh, the 2019 GovTrack rankings rate her as the most liberal member of the U.S. Senate. Um, you can juxtapose that. I'm ranked as the most conservative member of the U.S. Senate. So we're just at opposite ends. Uh, you have to give her credit because she is the first female of color to be on a national ticket. And I, uh, you, have to, you have to give her the credit for achieving that. She has made history.